This is driver's log, June 20th, 19th, I don't remember what day it is, let's say it's June 18th, 18th. no, wait, no, let's say it's June 20th, I bought this car yesterday, on a Monday, it's Tuesday now, I had to get it towed here, the body is straight, the paint's terrible, the motor doesn't run that right, uh, but I think it'll be an easy fix, despite the fact the previous owner spent two grand trying to fix it and couldn't. So I took it off his hands for 700. And I scratched up the bumper a little bit yesterday trying to tow it back because it died on the way. Didn't think it was gonna die. Well, I kinda expected it, but it was going just fine for like 20 minutes. And then it misfired and stalled out and would start up again for maybe a couple minutes and then die again. The same code, P0354. Ignition coil number four was giving some sort of uh, electrical error of some sort, so it shuts the engine down. I think it's just a wiring harness issue, because he's already changed the coil packs, uh, the previous owner, he's already changed the coil packs, the spark plugs, uh, a bunch of other shit too. But uh, I'll see if I can fix it. I'll be diagnosing tonight. Swapping coil packs around, see if I can recreate the problem and a different cylinder. If it's not, it's most likely then going to be a wiring issue because he's already changed the ECM as well. So ECM's covered, coil packs are covered, spark plugs are covered. It's down to the wiring now. This is my garage and my other car, my daily, my 5 Series. Beautiful M Sport edition or package, or whatever. It's just a 525, but it gets good gas mileage, handles great. It's got the BBS wheels. Ooh, yeah! Look at that. I'm trying to make sure my license plate doesn't come in. Oh, you can't even see it from this angle. And that's my baby. And this is my new baby. Or I should say my old baby because I used to own the a car. Pretty much the same car uh, 10 years ago. All right, well, time to get working. So just a quick note. Look at these god-awful stickers this guy had on here. What is this? Ugh. This poor thing, like, oh. Painted red in spots and then look at this it's actually red under this black primer Ugh. pmp sprockets that's great i bet there are no pmp sprockets in this car what is this crap this thing that's going Ugh. ricers why uh. Driver's log, June 21st, uh, or shoot, what day is it? Whatever, it's Wednesday. Um, just start up the car, let it run for a little bit, warm up, and then try to recreate the code, and it did, thankfully, so. It's the same P0354, which is this cylinder here, I believe. What I'll do is I'll uh, switch these two coil packs and see if it follows the coil pack or if uh, it stays on the cylinder. That'll help me uh, narrow down if it's the coil packs or the wire harness. Uh, as I said before, he's already replaced the coil pack, so I'm thinking it's the wire harness, but I should go through the diagnosis myself, 
just in case uh, any of his information is wrong. And like I said, he's already spent two grand on this car and couldn't figure it out. I should go ahead and just do my own diagnosis from the start. Assuming nothing other than I got the code for P0354, it's on this cylinder, it's an ignition uh, issue, so let's get to work and take that off, switch it with the other coil pack. Probably uh, we'll switch with, with one and see if, uh, if it has the same problem. Guys, I'm going to narrate this part since I got my uh, butt crack showing in just a second. Don't mind that. You're not really working unless you got your butt crack showing. But here I am taking off uh, the 10 millimeter bolts that hold in the two coil packs uh, in the one and four pistons. Um, I'm using my little drill there. So I'm just going to take them off, inspect them real quick switch them over and that's pretty much it make sure you uh, disconnect the battery I didn't do it here but uh, make sure you disconnect the battery before you do this time to clear the code and start her up <laughs> again like last time and then I'm going to read the code see if it's the same cylinder or if it went to the uh, cylinder one. So last time it took me a few minutes because the engine uh, was cold. Uh, it cooled down in the time it took me to change out uh, the bolt packs. So I'm just going to let it warm up again and I'll rev the engine to recreate uh, the scenario that caused it last time. Take a look at the, uh, the tailpipe to see if, uh, what the color of the smoke is. It looks a little bit on the dark side. It's not a good sign. Yep, it smells. But it's not dying this time, which is weird. Let me take a look at this footage. As you can see, I put a fan under uh, the bumper here in front of the radiator. And, uh, the thermostat looked like it was overheating. All right, 
looks like uh, the coke came back, but it didn't kill the engine, so I just turned it off because I saw the check engine light come on. And uh, the code actually followed the coil pack. So now I'm thinking maybe when he switched the coil packs, he got another bad coil pack in the mix. So I'm going to take this one out and switch it with one of the uh, old, old coil packs that he had. He uh, was kind enough to leave in the car. So here's the old coal packs. It's gonna be a crapshoot to figure out which one's bad and which one's good. I just have to try one at a time and see if the code come back comes back. So this is supposedly the bad coil pack. We'll set this aside. Alright, let's go from the best looking one. Alright, let's try this one. Running actually a little smoother. Wow, I hope that did it. Let's uh, let's look at, at the tailpipe. I don't see some. I don't see any smoke right now. I'm gonna have to set you down. You're gonna have to be my eyes. There's a lot of smoke. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's catless. Hmm, not sure. Maybe it's coolant. Maybe it's just running really rich. I'm not sure. It's running though. And it's uh Running smoother, no codes, but it did take a while for the other code to come on, so I'll give it some time. Give it some time and then I'll rev it a few times again and see if that kills it. I'm gonna save my battery. 